Hello T-Rexers. Today we got something a little extra special for everyone as a couple young ladies bring us their own version of a T-Rex story involving Terry and some new friends that he made. So without any further ado, here's Haley and Riley and a little bit of narration from their mom and they're going to tell us about Terry's new friends. Hi, I'm Haley and this is my sister Riley. Hi, I'm Riley and this is my sister Haley. I have dress? I don't. Today we're going to be talking to you about Terry's new friends. Izzy and Riley. <laughs> Izzy and Riley are new transfer students here. And they see Terry getting picked on uh, during the morning recess. Izzy and Raleigh go over to Terry and Raleigh says, Hi, are you okay? Yeah, but who are you? I've never seen you before. I'm Izzy and this is Raleigh. We're new transfer students here. We went from Trescott to Arizona. All of a sudden, Terry roars because he's excited. Roar! <laughs> Izzy and Raleigh jump in surprise. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Sorry, I have ticks. That's what I was being teased about. It's okay. I like eating food. Really? It didn't scare you? Nah, it just made it. It just started. Us. It's all good. Yeah, we're fine. I kind of think your roar is cool. Wow, thanks. No one's ever told me that before. Normally they just stare at me or tease me. It's okay. I get teased too because I read slower than others. That must be hard. It's just dyslexia. I work around it. I'm learning how to do that. It's just hard sometimes. I get it. Maybe we can help you out. Andy says, how are you going to do that? Do you have a place where you can go to feel safe? Yeah, I have a room here at school. Maybe we could come in there when you have a moment. A moment? I like the way that sounds. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like that a lot. No problem. Yeah, I'd love to. Ring! Let's go to class. Hi, everybody. For those of you ha who have Tourette's or a tick disorder, even though you have Tourette's or a tick disorder, you're unique and you're special, and no one can change that but you. So just be you. Hi kids, I wanna take a moment and talk to one of your family members who may not have Tourette's or even your parents. So I'll give you a minute to go grab them. Okay, so just to let you know, before before I um, get going, I. I've written down some stuff, and I may be looking down, and so that's why I'm looking down and not at the camera. Okay, so, my sister has turrets, and it's a wild ride for myself and my parents, and I wanted to give you a few tips to help you understand them. And by them, I mean, you know, um, so first, they don't mean to do it. They really don't. They don't mean to hit, they don't mean to scream, they don't mean to do whatever they do. It's, it's just their groove. It's just their new awesome groove. And yes, it's hard sometimes because they, because they tick when they, because they tick when they're mad, they tick when they're sad, they tick when they're screaming, they tick when they're excited. And, well, that's life right now. And, it won't change, but just think of it as, just think of the times you'll, you'll get ahead with this new beginning in your life and just go with it. Secondly, what I find helps them is, is like my sister, it helps if she has something in her hands. So we keep Play-Doh at my grandparents' house in our house for when she needs to like, need things or just do something with her hands and and I also and sometimes sharing like favorite foods with her like chocolate she loves chocolate and sometimes if I just share a little piece with her it really works and it helps her calm down and Finally, just go with it, have fun, enjoy the, enjoy the good moments, and just think of the new things, and 
that they may go away and just go with the flow. I hope I have helped you with this message and thank you for letting me take a few minutes out of your time.